the truth is that at the moment, uh, it is almost impossible to provide any humanitarian services in and around Khartoum. There are calls from various organizations and people trapped asking for evacuation. For the past four days, people have been out of water, food, um, electricity has been rationed in some places totally disconnected. So we're talking about a situation where there has been calls to the Sudanese Red Cross and then also to the International Red Cross Movement uh, presence in Sudan almost on a daily basis from people wanting you know, basic humanitarian services. What the, Sudan, the International Red Cross uh, Red Crescent Movement, the Sudanese Red Crescent, the International Committee of the Red Cross is asking for is a humanitarian space and corridor to be able to operate. You know, there are uh, uh, people in hospitals, they are functioning, but at the same time, it's minimum functioning because one, electricity is affected, the staff themselves are overwhelmed. And now with this current uh, situation where their self, the health workers and uh, safety is not assured, so there is a disruption of the health system. And if it continues, it will almost go into a collapse.